What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We back here with another Angelina Jordan reaction because we cannot get enough of her. I cannot get enough of her, and I'm going to exhaust it until I'm tired. And even then, probably still going to do some more reactions to it. Uh, this time, we're checking out her performance of It's a Man's World, okay? Now, I'm not sure how to perform, or not perform, how to pronounce this. Forrest Verrett's Stabs the Music Corpse. Okay, so it looks like it's a, well, with the word corpse there, I'm thinking that this might be a military band, okay? Which is awesome to be able to perform if it is a military band or it might just be a really, really prestigious uh, uh, orchestra band, which is amazing because I absolutely love live music with my experience being jazz and everything. So let's go ahead, shut up and turn it up. I already have some things that I'm hoping that she's gonna do uh, uh, in this performance because I'm so really familiar with the song and I hope that she pulls through with that. So like I said, let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Oh, one more thing. This was done in 18, 19, 20, 21. So if she's 15, if she's 15 now, so she either did this at age 11 or 12, one of those. Okay, let's do it. Okay, hold on now. Now, this is a different style that I've heard her sing. See, here's, <clears throat> here's the thing about this song, man. You got to come out strong, man. We all know how it starts. You got to come out strong. It sets the tone, okay? Now, what I was telling you guys earlier uh, before we started is that I had some ideas about what I wanted to hear. I wanted her to come off at that very beginning. I wanted her to come off strong, and that's exactly what she did. And it's just crazy just how effortless she just makes it look. She just go over there just singing it to me, and she's just running up and down, man. You already the people are already applauded already it's because she came out with that 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 strength that strong so man right commanding presence man i'm telling you you sitting there eating your hot dog right and you putting mustard on a hot dog you done squirted a little bit more because she done startled you <laughs> can you imagine you sitting there yeah yeah man yeah i'm about to put this in there what <laughs> okay It's like it's like you riding a mamba, you know, like world of fun. It's like you riding a roller coaster, man. It's like you you see it and then you're like super daunting, right? Especially if this is like your first time listening to Angelina Jordan, you know. You sit on there, she's about to sing, and you know how powerful this song is, right? So you just like you're like, if this is your first time, you sitting there like, man, I don't know. I don't know. She's gonna be able to throw some soul on this, you know what I'm saying? She's gonna be able to do it. It's kind of like when you're looking at a <clears throat> A very high roller coaster you know you're like man i don't know if i can do it and then you get on it and then you know the anticipation starts to build up right and then you go down that really really slope that that real downward slope and then going down that downward slope is angelina singing because your heart just dropped because you because because you, you you can't believe it right and now all of a sudden while you down there you you just ready to go right back up because your heart's been dropped by so much it's just so much epicness your heart just dropped all the way down and you just ready for it to come up but nah bro she gonna continue singing and just keeping you down there because she ain't ready to bring you up just yet and then those runs come and all of a sudden going right back up the roller coaster because I don't know about you guys, but when I'm listening to Angelina Jordan, when she started doing them runs, man, it, it, it commands my body. I got to go, 
you know, you got you got to move up with it. That's powerful. That's powerful to be able to have that type of ability. And I've get I've, I've gotten it every single time. I'm telling you, I've heard people do runs that just do not move me. This is moving me, man. Let's go. Oh, and not only that, man, just the dynamics when she was just singing so high and then she just came back down like the roller coaster, man. Come on, man. That, that's what it is, man. That's a perfect analogy. Hold on. I know I'm positive like a billion times, but bro, see, you know, the band is feeling it. Imagine how many times they perform this and they in the sauce. They in the sauce. They loving this. Look at this lady right over here behind her. You guys see her eyes closed and she's just swaying her head to the left and to the right. I'm telling you, she's feeling it. The whole band feeling it. This dude's kind of, I think he's playing. Uh, I think that we got some clarinets up here. Uh, it looked like he playing. He just stuck. He's just stuck in the mud. What you doing, man? Do you not hear this singing? This lady right over here, she know it. She know it in her bones. She know that Angelina's out here just, just singing with all the soul in the world. That's why she got her eyes closed. That's why her head's down. She she ain't even, she like, I don't even want to play. I'm interrupting her. I just want to listen. Look at her. Look at her for the rest of the thing. Man, I guarantee you she probably gonna have her eyes closed for the, for, for, for most of the time until it's time for her to play. It's like when the, when the instruments start playing, man, it's, it, it, it like brings on like like it's joy. That's what it is. It's kind of like you just it's like you you overcome with like sadness because the performance is just like it's just hitting you with a ton of bricks. But she's singing it so well with this amazing backtrack. Right. And <clears throat> he's absolutely killing it over there, declaring that man. He killing over there, kind of giving it like a little uh Almost kind of like a little back and forth, you know, when she's singing and then you kind of playing like an accompany that uh, company uh, melody that right there, the, both of that, that back and forth right there is just it just kind of dwelling on your feelings and your emotions where you just like you, you can't do nothing but put your head down and just, mm, you know, what I'm saying like 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 you done stubbed your toe and uh, and the climax of the pain is over. And now you're just sitting there with a throbbing toe right now. So in what you do, you sit there and you kind of go back and forth because you're trying to ease it. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to ease this stubbed toe. Right. And, 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 but it's a good pain, you know, <laughs> man, I swear, man. So no ways I'll be explaining things, man. I'm just telling y'all to it as raw as it's coming to me right now. Oh man, I mean, like, it seemed like it was a small crowd or anything. I feel like I, I would have been, if I was in that crowd, I definitely would have been as loud as possible. There's just no way, you know, it's kind of like that feeling that just, just erupts out of you. You can't, can't keep it quiet, you know. Uh, another reason why I keep coming back to Angelina is because she's giving me the same feelings that I got 
when I would play on my saxophone and there's a, there, there's a little pocket, right? And how, how can I explain this? You know, when you usually play your instrument and you like playing ahead, I'm going to take a song that I used to do a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of times called tenor madness, right? Really, really simple song. Um, a lot of that song gives way to the improv, uh, but the song pretty much goes like, dun, 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 and that's a, it, it can be fast or it can be slow but the thing about it is that there's 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 a part in there where the, the, the head goes away and that was just improv between either your percussionist your bassist or you know trombone player if you have to have one or you know with a tenor saxophone which is what i was so there being i think the longest amount of time i did a solo or an improv was about nine minutes and the thing about it is that it's a slow build up the same way with 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 Angelina's performance, right? It's a slow build up. But then the more you keep getting into it, the more you you start getting real comfortable with it. Right. You start understanding. I mean, you've been practicing a lot, but, you know, when you got a scale, especially when you're shifting scales like every four counts, um, you, you get in this pocket in this pocket. I'm telling you, it's almost like a runner high. You feel so invincible, you know, when you're in there, you just jamming and you just got this feeling that, you know, that you got a message that you got to get out. You know, I get that same feeling with Angelina, you know, and it may be because, you know, kind of like the whole jazz esque uh, uh, kind of feeling that we got with, with when she sings. And that's what keeps me coming back because it's reminding me back to my days when I played my saxophone. Now, I haven't played my saxophone in years. I pawned it off a couple of years ago because I needed the money. I would love to get a new one, but it ain't in the budget right now because what I do want to do is get back into my saxophone, maybe, maybe even stream playing some backtracks. Hell, I even do my little solo to it to man's world because this. This is inspiring, if you will. You know, I talk to my wife a lot about getting back, both of us getting back into music. You know, right now we just listen, but getting back into performing, I just got to get my saxophone back, man. I would love to do kind of like a, uh, that would be pretty cool, right? If I can do like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a duo with Angelina Jordan with me and my saxophone. Uh, although, because <laughs> the feeling that she would give me with her singing, if I can translate that into notes, ooh, I'm telling you, it's going to, that's going to be a bad show. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.